So hey, what's up guys? Once again, welcome back in our video series of C programming by Tech Booster. So guys, here in this video, we'll understand the concept of pointer with array and string. And first of all, we'll start with our array. So in order to understand how your pointer will work with array, I've considered an array here. So my array here is A, which is of type int, and this array is holding eight elements. And my elements here are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So whenever we want to start working with our pointer, we need to work with the address of those elements. So here in this case, I have considered the address of my first element to be 100. And as I am considering my data type to be int, and int is of 4 byte, so my second address will definitely be 104. My third address will be 108 and so on. Here, we will have a difference of 4 between my addresses. And we have discussed all these things in a previous video. So I hope your these concepts are clear. Now in order to understand how your pointer will work with array, I have considered a practice set for you. And my practice set here is print all the elements of the array A using the concept of pointer. So we need to print all the elements that we have in this array A but using the concept of pointer. So let me open my code block and try to solve this one. So here this is my code block and first of all we need to start with our header file. So here I will include fctio.h. So now this will be my main function. And as we'll be starting work, uh, as we'll start working with our pointer, I need to consider my pointer here. So let me consider int ptr. Ptr. So this is my pointer, and I need to consider my array. So this is my array, which has eight elements. My elements are two, comma three, comma four, comma five, comma six, seven, eight, nine. So these are my elements, and here ptr is equals to and a zero. Okay. So here, what I am doing, I am considering the address of my first element. Even though if you don't mention this index position here, our compiler will always consider the address of first element only. Even though if I don't write this zero, our compiler will always consider the address of this first element only. I'll show you this one. But as of now, let me just consider the index position here. So this will give us the address of our first element. Now, let me just print a message here like elements are slash n now we'll work with our for loop int i equals to 0 i less than 8 i plus plus okay so now here i'll just print my first element so this is my percentage d and then i'll use a tab space now my first element here will be pointer ptr here ptr is the address of my first element and Pointer ptr is nothing but the element that we have in that particular address. So this will give me 2. So now once we are done, we need to move forward towards our next address. So how to get our next address? So we'll get our next address just by incrementing my pointer. So I'll use ptr++. So this will give me my next address. And accordingly, as I'm using loop, I will have my next element. So this will keep on continuing till my last element. So once we are done, I'll use my return function here. And once you run this particular code, hopefully we'll have all our elements. So once you run, you can see these are my elements 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So guys, this is the way how you can use your pointer with your array in order to get any of your elements. And I hope your this concept is now clear. Now once we are done with our array, let us move back towards our slide and check out how to use pointer with our string. So in order to work with our string, I have again considered a string here. Let my string here be character, uh, sorry, take booster, which is of type care. And here again, I have considered the same practice set, print all the characters of the string take booster using the concept of pointer. So we'll print now all the characters of this take booster, but using the concept of pointer. So let us once again open our code block and try this out. So I'll just edit this same program here. Let me edit this one. And let me first of all consider my string here. So my string is nothing, but this is also um, a type of array. 
which is of data type character so here i will consider care and let the name of my string be b and here my string is take booster okay so now let me consider my pointer and here the type of my pointer will also be care because here we will be uh, working with our string now let me again consider the name of my pointer to be ptr and here i'll directly consider my string b so this is my and b so here instead of mentioning my index position i can directly consider my string b because as i told you st uh, string is nothing but an array and when we are we will be working with our array we need not consider the index position every time our compiler will always consider the first address so we are done now we can directly consider our for loop so i'll be using for int i equals to zero now here what i'll do you know to consider the ending condition i'll consider i less than length of this particular string and how to get length of this particular string str len b so this will give me length of this particular string and then i plus plus okay so once we are done here i can directly use print f percentage c this is my format specify considering your character and then comma ptr okay so this will give me my first character and then accordingly as we have to move towards our next address i'll just use ptr plus plus this is a pointer increment so this will give me my next character and as we're using all these things in my loop we'll have all our characters and now as i'm using this particular function i will include my string.h library so let me include dot h okay so we are done now if we run this particular code we'll have our string take booster you can see this is my string take booster so guys this is the way how you can work with your string with the help of your pointer now i hope your this concept is also clear so now it's your turn you need to practice both the things like working of pointer with your array and working of pointer with your string and once you're done you can move forward towards our next video so guys i'll see you in my next video till then goodbye take care and practice bye bye